Um, regarding the prototype, um, you got a lot of feedback, so um, this, this sounds like a rather complicated process, work intensive, so um, what did you actually learn from your first prototypes and um, what are the advantages of collecting feedback and getting input through these prototypes than with any other means? Okay, um, one thing uh, before I answer the question is for prototyping, it's rarely obvious that what you actually do is a lot or worse or better than what you have or currently have or had before. Uh, before. Because if prototyping, when you start exploring your ideas and then narrowing down the design space, you want to learn and try different ideas out. And then in that context, you most of the time don't actually know if it's going to work at the end or not. Okay. So since prototypes are really for the bin, prototypes are never the solution. You start to try out things and then you find out, like we did it in the first hand, something doesn't work. Okay, so you throw that idea away and get a new one and try to you know, build that one and prototype it to evaluate again. And if you iterate that and you do that process over and over again, you learn and Somewhere in the end, when you're really done and you're confident that this is the idea, is something you want to really have and work on later on, um, then you maybe start recognizing what's what's a lot better than you were, what had before. But it, it, just at the beginning of prototyping, like we had, you never know what where you're going to be end up with which solution, because prototyping is never about the solution. It's about having the ideas and just going the way to okay. a final solution. So we might see some even contrary prototypes in the future. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And okay. actually, uh, uh, what we really learned uh, two things in the, uh, after the prototyping phase. That one was that if you're, it's like a methodological more uh, point of view. If you move a lot of UI elements out of your of your toolbars and make it more direct, it's you know it gives you more, a lot more opportunities. Uh, uh, to design, to redesign the, the toolbars, for instance. Okay. And the other thing, <laughs> what we yeah, uh, learned uh, regarding the, the, all the feedback we got on the, on the blog postings and on the, the mailing lists and in the press also, was that um, uh, if you give out or present a prototype which looks like it's almost done, uh, you will also get uh, the sort of feedback which is going to be really narrowed because a lot of people have the, uh, uh, the perception that, okay, this, this looks almost done. It looks yeah. great, but it might be already the final solution, which was not. And we were not really not, not that aware about the, the outcomes of the uh, public work we had, uh, uh, that the prototypes were accessible for everyone in the world. And a lot of people just thought, okay, it looks in Java, <laughs> it looks almost done. The, the, maybe it's a mature prototype, yeah. but it's, it certainly was not. And this is the, uh, something we, we had to learn after we were done with prototyping. And next time we will probably do it another way around. Okay. We will not publish prototypes which look as if they were already done. We were probably use like HTML, HTML clicks dummies or more images or okay. some sort of like that. Just to, you know, we are, in, during prototyping, we are, most concerned with the interactions we want to test or evaluate or the ideas which we had to improve interactions within our, a new interface. We were not that concerned about the visuals, so about the look and feel, but the feedback we got uh, on the prototype was mostly about the visual, about the look and feel and how people perceived this prototype and how the, uh, lots of people had the impression it was done okay. and it was, would be the next solution in some uh, release which is really close yes. in time but it's certainly <coughs> not, it's, it was never the plan to, to uh, try one idea out to make some prototypes and then you know some sort of okay this is our solution just jump into that solution yeah. this was already just for giving the ideas some sort of form and trying them out and discussing them in the open with the community so, talking about that, um, can you give any next steps or any, any time frame how you expect to have major changes to, to appear or would this be a process that takes place step by step? Can you 
give some information because we had many rumors and some people expect major changes already for next version. Is there any, do you have any scope in, in mind or when major modifications will occur or is this completely open as of now? Uh, the important thing to know is that there is no, not some sort of a date okay. where we like, you know, from today to tomorrow we're going to change the whole interface. This is probably not something which is going to happen. Uh, we learned a lot from prototyping, we learned a lot from our research phase and the feedback we got over all our feedback channels and the, the uh, outcome of all that was that, okay, from prototyping we learned that, that a lot of interactions which we currently have in open office require a lot of UI elements, they require a, a lot of uh, interaction steps and if we improve that step by step from version from ver to to version from release to release in the near future we will uh, be in the position that we uh, improve the overall user experience of the uh, yeah. of the product a lot by not actually changing a lot of the ui not introducing major changes but in the meantime it gives us the opportunity to slick uh, the ui down to have uh, less UI elements, okay. less interaction steps, which increases just the design space for a later uh, redesign of the UI. So we would have, we would not have to deal with that many interaction elements or UI elements uh, to come up with a more, um, yeah, more individual uh, UI solution for uh, the future of home office to work. Okay, so that means there will be many small changes that will be incorporated within the next versions and not a specific date where you put a switch, so to say, no. and make or introduce new major changes. Exactly. So advantages for the users will be already in, in upcoming releases and will be, it will be a progress, is this correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. We will still be concentrating on, on the presentation software of Impress and we will have a look at okay. many interactions within the application and of course uh, the interaction within all the other applications on office, openoffice.org and we will try to improve them step by step and we will of course be as open as we've been okay. so far and uh, I guess this uh, process which is uh, going to be next will be uh, more beneficial for the uh, whole community because we will have now we will have concrete problems okay. and we will be working on concrete issues to improve maybe small usability problems or interaction problems, but if in iteration it will improve the whole product and give us more, okay. more opportunity for a new uh, UI at a later stage. Okay.